It says, take a flower bag, fill it with something beautiful. <laughs> right? Yeah, mommy's right. beautiful. Take another one. <laughs> fill it with something beautiful. It doesn't say put flowers in it. <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk There's nothing like we've ever seen have a couple hours out there and still have time to get back before I have to go to work. You locked up? I have never done anything like it was, this. It was fun. I, I don't remember much about it other than we did. I remember being there. You know, you have your little thing to film. Thing. Trying not to say too much. Yeah, they say you're supposed to create an intense moment that captures the user's attention. So hopefully we've captured the user's attention to stay tuned. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? <laughs> Alright kiddos, so we are taking you to somewhere special. Mommy wanted to surprise you, so I know where we're going. I, I mean, I don't know exactly where we're going. But None of us have been to this exact location. But... I've been to something like it, just not at this exact one.
I found one. You think we should save it or do you want me to eat it? No, you can't eat it, right? They gotta get washed. It's a big one. <laughs> it must be a good one. It dripped all down your shirt. Is that good, Daddy? That was really good. Riley, how is it? Good. Let me see. <laughs> Aiden, how's yours? Oh, that was bad. Here, what about this one? Can you put this one in the box? Thanks. <sighs> what about this one, little farmer? What do you see? You see anything else, bud? Our strawberries weigh, which in essence means how much we pay for them. Find out if it's actually a better deal than the grocery store. But the grocery store does not come with the experience of picking them yourself and making sure you get just the ones you want. Guys, how was that? Good. Yeah? What was no, your... No, like, literally. The, the both goods. Like, what? delicious and good? Riley, what was your favorite part? Picking them and eating them. Picking them and eating them? Which did you like more, picking them or eating them? Uh, eating them. Eating them? Aiden, what about you? Picking strawberries as big as your head? Can you hand me that big one over there? Like no, they're super juicy. You're not going to eat them in the car. Yeah, they are, they are, but standing in the room. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Or your eye. 
So, I had never been strawberry picking before. Um, wow, now that field's busy and this one's not. So, it was a lot of fun. And this place was packed. And but not too packed. There was lots of people here, right. but it, there were we had no trouble getting a parking space. We weren't overcrowded with people around us in the field. So explain. Let's explain how this works. So the place is called Oak Haven Winery. Yes. It's Oak Haven Winery. They've been doing strawberries. They said for 20 years, and they've been doing wines for about nine years. They, said 2011, they, they make everything wine. on premise. Their wine is all made on premise here. They grow their own grapes for their grape wines, and they grow their own strawberries for their strawberry wine. And then they had a little inside. They had a little wine tasting. Kind of, kind of reminded us of Opry Mills in Tennessee, where you could go in and taste a sample of their moonshine. Mm -hmm. But they had different wines. Uh, yeah, it was one dollar, and you got to try what eight wines, seven, seven wines. We went through, I think. Yeah. So, so we're talking like samples, a little splash. Here so, and there. but, but yeah, they give you when you get there, they give you this box, empty, of course. They tell you what area of the field they're working in right now. They give you a tip of where it's probably going to be the most based on how many people have been. You know, like the guy told us everyone in the morning stopped right at the front. So if you guys go to the back end of the field, you'll probably have more good strawberries that have been touched. And he was right. As soon as we got to the back half, there were bright, shiny red, gorgeously, you know, palm-sized, fistful-sized strawberries. Um, and and we ate. How many did you eat, Aiden, do you think? Like 20? No? We probably each ate almost a whole carton ourselves. You, you know you're probably going to get those comments. Oh, you didn't wash them off. The old saying, God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. Rinse, rinse we it off. Wiped, them. wiped it off as best as possible. Try to blow the bugs off so you didn't eat the bug. We got probably our iron and uh, oh vitamin. Yeah. We got, we got some lots of fiber. We got some, we got some I nutrients. definitely can feel my stomach. I'm referring moving. to the vitamins and nutrients, minerals in the dirt. We got our mineral oh. intake for the day. Oh. And maybe some protein. We, this was lunch. <laughs> and it was free. Well. Well, yeah. The sort picking of. part was free. And it was based on per pound, so you could do as many or as little as you want. Well, I know some places do, you buy the bucket and then you fill a bucket or something like that. Um, but yeah, they had no problem with people eating them while you go, pick as you eat as you go, pick as you go kind of thing, and um, left. I know. So, overall... How much was it per pound? Um... Three fifty. No. You forgot? The whole thing we got was about $24, so it was about, I think it was $325. About $325 a pound. About $325 a pound. So, which is a little bit more than you get. It's kind of like in between. Off-season strawberries, grow, strawberries are 4 or $5 a carton, for which I think is about a pound at the grocery store. Peak season here in Florida, when you get your strawberries, you can get them for like a dollar a pound. Um, so we're kind of like right in the middle. But it was a fun experience. The weather was gorgeous, as you'll see. Um, perfect blue skies. I think it's probably only about 65, 70 degrees tops. Um, I mean, you couldn't have asked for better weather. So it was just a fun experience altogether. So it was worth it. There was no entry fees, so it kind of like made up for that. No parking fees. Um, yeah. They had other events there. The popcorn guy had shut down by the time we went to look to see the popcorn. They had a bounce house uh, slide thing for some of the little kids to go on. The but, pony. Oh, uh, the ponies, but those were a higher fee than we were willing to pay to walk in a circle on a pole. <laughs> um, we bought extra strawberries instead, you could say. But, no, you guys had fun, right? Yeah. What was your least favorite part? My least favorite? I would say that my least favorite part was having to clean them. Well, that's part of the experience. Uh, it was sad though when you would go and you'd see this gorgeous, big, bright strawberry yeah, and you'd go to pick it up and you'd roll it over and it was rotten on the bottom. But that's how it goes when you're picking fruit. You can tell they, they were, it was like, it's this peak season. It's like going to last for a few more weeks and that's going to be it. Um, 
March is the month to get your strawberries in Florida. Especially because we didn't have that cold of a winter like we did as cool of a winter as we did last year. So hey, the strawberries ripen can, sooner. Can I have a lot of oranges? That's the main Strawberries, buddy. Most strawberries that are grown in America are grown in Florida. Orange, strawberry, strawberries, oranges, oh horses. My. Oh my! <laughs> and squirrels. Um, but yeah, no, the, the ride is gorgeous. I mean, it's just we're out in the middle of nowhere, horse land, rural area. So nice. It was a good drive. It was a good day. It's a good afternoon. Um, in between me working last night and me having to work tonight, so we only get a few hours, so we try to make those hours count and be productive. So today, this was our adventure. So. And we certainly went out and found our inner adventure. Yep, we might not be moving the RV anywhere, but we can move ourselves all around our RV. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to find as much as we can do here in Central Florida to kind of show you guys what there is here and. Um, that even if you're at a point where maybe you're in one location for a while, that you can still go out and find so much around you. Right. Well, also, the benefit so. of having a tow behind or a trailer or whatever you want to call it, is uh, or a fifth wheeler, is you're not tied. Where if we didn't have the truck and we had a motorhome, we had to take the other car or take the motorhome. Oh, we're saying if we didn't have another vehicle yeah. with it? Yeah. yeah. All right, so what do we got coming up? We got another pillow talk coming up soon. And, um... Whatever adventure we find to do next here. That's right. We so, have spring break coming up. Okay. Yeah, I'm heading down to South Florida next week after exams. So next Friday, I'm down to South Florida. If you hear that... That's why I'm going to South Florida. My father-in-law and I are going to rip the differential apart replace the bearings, replace the wheel bearings, completely reshape everything. And that hallowing is supposed to go away because right now the bearing is grinding, so. Yeah, so, so we gotta get the truck back again, ready for pulling strength, yeah, so it's yeah. not at pulling strength right now. We're also now. getting new shocks, we put new shocks on, so uh, I'll try to take some some video of that so you guys can stand the loop. The normal upkeep of an old vehicle, but it's still cheaper than getting a new vehicle yeah. and it's normal. If you have something, you gotta take care of it. If you wanna keep it going. So well, you'd have repairs on a brand new car, whether you. Yeah, and in know. the next couple of weeks, we will probably make maybe like make a video fully introducing Duke and him showing training things he learned there. Yeah. He's about to go to puppy camp for ten so days. Ten days. He's going to doggy boot camp. And so then uh, I think one more video would be uh, an explanation of what. The rest of this new year is going to look like. Ellen and I kind of have changed our, our original plans. Um, so I think we'll fill you in on the details of that. And See, more than changing our plans, we're finally listening to the plans that we feel that we yeah, I get it, but we're, we're, we still have plans and we told you that we'd be doing a lot of traveling this summer. So we want to keep you in the loop as to what those new plans are and uh, what we're hoping to achieve over the next year two years. Sounds good. Alright, so we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.